Do you remember your first apartment? Maybe you picked out some tiny efficiency that was the cheapest thing you could possibly find. And then, of course, you got a dog, because it was getting kind of lonely in there, and you needed a pet-friendly place, so you pick up everything and move again. And just when you got settled, boom, a raise. Time to move out of that dump and get into some cool hip digs, which were awesome until you decided you needed someone else to live with you and the dog wasn't cutting it. So maybe you needed a two-bedroom instead of a one, and oh my goodness, it just never seemed to end. Wouldn't it be cool if you picked out your backplane technology just once and it would adapt to fit your future needs? Hi, I'm Amelia Dalton, host of Chalk Talk. If you're tired of moving from backplane to backplane every time your needs change a little bit, maybe you should join me right now as I chat with Matthew Burns from Samtech about their Examax technology, which might just keep you feeling at home with your backplane for quite a few years. Before we get started, don't forget to click that link. There you can find out more information about Samtech's Examax technology. Hi, Matthew. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm so excited to be here. So it seems like in the past few years, with all the new Surtees technology, our data rates have exploded. And for a lot of us, that means our old backplanes can't handle the action anymore. What does Samtech have for those of us looking to modernize our backplane technology? Amelia, that's a great question. When we think about traditional backplane suppliers, there were four in the industry, TE, Molex, Amphenol, FCI. Since Amphenol has bought out FCI, that's sort of streamlined the uh, supplier base for backplane technology, and that's allowed Samtech an opportunity to start investing in this space. We originally invested with FCI by becoming a licensed partner for them, the second source. But that relationship has evolved to the point where Samtech is investing engineering resources and investing technology capabilities to fully expand the Examax portfolio. So when we look at Examax, we've been working on that technology over the last few years, and we'll talk about that more in detail throughout the presentation. What we can see here is that in addition to Examax, Samtech has access to all of Amphenol's backplane technology. We recently signed a license agreement with them to become a second source supplier for a lot of their families. Obviously, we've been investing with Examax. We plan to go further with Exceed, and we'll look at the Paladin family as data rates get faster and above the 56 gigabit per second node. Okay, so let's start at the left end of the spectrum. If my requirements are more modest, say less than 25 gig, uh, tell me about Exceed HD. Again, another great question. Exceed is a existing technology or an existing backplane family that's been on the market for several years, and Amphenol has done a really good job of bringing that to market. With their acquisition of FCI, again, as I mentioned earlier, we're working with them to become a second source provider. Some of the features that Exceed HD has, it provides excellent density of up to 84 differential pairs per inch to 1.80 millimeter pitch. Other features include the highest performance available in a hard metric form factor. There's three levels of staging, so it gives the family some uh, rugged ability in mating. It also has increased sidewall strength, which provides added robustness, especially in telco applications. Some of the options that are available with Exceed include traditional coplanar and orthogonal orientations. Exceed HD also supports both 85 ohm and 100 ohm connections, and they're available in four and six pair configurations via Samtech. Since we just signed the license agreement with Amphenol, we plan to have samples of Exceed HD available early in 2017. We plan to have production by the middle of next year. This should provide a really nice opportunity for Samtech to support existing Exceed HD backplane connector customers where they need a second source. And it should also open up new customers for us because this is a new market space that Samtech is getting into. Okay, I think I've got it. Now let's turn it up a notch. What if I'm doing PCI Express or InfiniBand or one of the other specs that puts me beyond that 25 gig realm? That's a great question and that's where we see the industry going. More and more customers, not only in the telco space but in data centers, high-speed computing, supercomputing, are looking for backplane solutions not only at 28 gigabit but at the next speed node of 56 gigabit per second. So the Examax high-speed backplane connector system from Samtech provides a high-speed, cost-effective backplane system capable of 28 gigabits today and 56 gigabits per second in the future. 
You mentioned that it works with such things as PCI Express and InfiniBand, but other standards that work over XMAX include the Intel QPI and VPI specifications, SAS and SATA for storage applications, fiber channel, Ethernet, and any high-speed protocol that exceeds 28 gigabits per second. So is there a trade-off here between form factor and speed? It seems like I might be satisfied with a lower speed, especially if I can pack more into my enclosure. That's the beauty of XMAX. XMAX can support either a high density application at 28 gigabits per second, or it can support a higher speed application at 56 gigabits per second. What's great about the Exceed portfolio from Samtech is that we offer both a two millimeter pitch at 28 gigabit per second, or if a customer needs a higher speed option at 56 gigabit per second, we offer a three millimeter pitch solution as well. So we're all engineers here. Let's pop the hood of this thing and how are we getting this kind of performance? That's a great question. And we feel that the engineering expertise that XMAX utilizes really sets it apart from other backplane solutions on the market. A good example of that is the XMAX wafer design. You can see illustrated here the individual signal wafers that come staggered with differential pair designs. We are focusing on two options that we're releasing here in 2016. We offer a 72 differential pair design, which has six routed pairs over 12 columns. And we also offer a 40 pair design with four routed differential pairs in a 10 column application. Another differentiator when it comes to the XMAX wafer designs is our ground plane. It's a one piece embossed ground structure that provides increased isolation and significantly reduces crosstalk. The ground signal placement is engineered for 92 ohm impedance but we have the engineering resources to show that it'll work both in 85 ohm applications and the 100 ohm applications that are popular in telecom and datacom applications. Another benefit of our ground plane structure is that it provides balanced differential pairs arranging columns with zero skew. So tell me what's happening when the rubber meets the road here, Matt, or actually, I guess, the contacts meet the other contacts. <laughs> what happens where the connections are actually made? Another differentiator that XMAX brings over other interconnect technologies is our beam-on-beam -beam contact design. What this provides are two reliable points of contact at all times, even when the mating connectors are subject to angled conditions. The beam-on-beam -beam contact design also provides a clear separation between contact points, and most importantly, for a lot of our Telco and Datacom customers, it meets the Telcordia GR1217 core specification for spacing between contacts. The beam-on-beam -beam contact design allows XMAX to have the lowest mating force on the market while providing excellent contact normal force. The beam-on-beam -beam contact design also provides a 2.4 millimeter mating surface area, which also gives us a 2 millimeter wipe, which is required for Datacom and Telco applications where ruggedness is often essential. Another advantage of our beam-on-beam -beam contact design is that it fosters stub-free mating between the receptacle and the header. What this gives us is an elimination of stubs. Now you may ask, what's a stub? If we were to use a contact design with only one point of contact, that would provide an extra millimeter or millimeter and a half of copper or metal that was floating free. And when you have a stub in your design, that greatly degrades the performance of the mated connector set, especially at higher speeds. Our stub-free mating provides fully protected terminals on both the backplane and the daughter card. This eliminates more traditional exposed header pin field on the backplane. Now, what about the power side of things? These guys are using a lot of power and we've got hot swapping going on. How do we deal with all of that, Matt? The mated XMX receptacle and headers are capable of providing sufficient power for many designs. However, to your point, when we get into telco, backplane, and line card applications, some of these applications require tens of amps of power at multiple voltage rails. So one of the things that Samtech has done to expand XMAX performance is to provide high power modules, our EPS and EPT series. These high power modules offer 80 amps per total module with four different positions. They offer various pin staging options for short detect and hot swap applications. They offer perpendicular mating with press fit tails for rugged ability during the manufacturing process. Another solution that we also offer to help with hot swapping and making sure that connectors mate properly is we're releasing a discrete guidance module or the EGBF and EGBM series. These discrete guidance modules assist in blind mate applications. They offer rugged construction to hold maximum weight in a space saving design. They have either 18.3 millimeter or 25.3 millimeter length and they offer external or internal threading. We believe that with the high power modules and the discrete guidance modules in 
conjunction with the core XMAX mated portfolio gives us an entire solution for all high speed telco application that need backplanes. Where are we going next with XMAX? I can see that all this bandwidth madness isn't going to end anytime soon. What happens when we need to crank it up to 11 or 111? So again, another great question. We realize that the current data rate requirements for the industry are 28 gigabit per second. So that's where a lot of our focus is right now. We're trying to fully expand the portfolio of XMAX at two millimeters to support 28 gigabit per second NRZ applications. As we mentioned earlier, we have a number of options with four and six pair at two millimeter column pitch. The advantage of this solution is the highest density, which the industry is asking for. Going forward, as we mentioned previously, we're going to be fully releasing our three millimeter portfolio of XMAX. This gives us 56 gigabit per second of operation. Similar to the two millimeter set, we're also going to offer four and six pairs. We're also going to add a additional feature on the XMAX three millimeter family by providing breakout regions with double track routing, which helps to reduce layer count and improve signal integrity at higher speeds, which the solution is designed for. And then after that, once we get past the 111 that you mentioned, or in reality, the 112 gigabit per second PAM4 applications, we're looking at our XMAX Plus family, which will be based on the three millimeter column pitch architecture, and it will offer blazing high fast speeds at the highest density in the industry for those data rate nodes. And what about non-traditional orientations? What can we expect there? So this slide shows our portfolio as it is now in 2016 and as it will be going toward the end of the year and into 2017. We have the mated receptacle and header portfolio to support traditional backplane architectures. We also mentioned earlier that our power modules and our guiding modules will support right angle backplane applications. As we go throughout 2016 and as we move into 2017, some of the orientations that we're working on based on requests from our customers and the industry include cable backplane systems, direct mate orthogonal, midplane orthogonal, and coplanar applications. In most cases, our right angle receptacle sits on the daughter board, but we're working with our customers and engineering is looking at the details that are needed to find the appropriate backplane connector to support their orientation of choice. So look for more options for us towards the end of 2016 and into 2017. So what if I need help with my application? What kind of support does SAM Tech offer? As I'm sure you can expect, designing in a backplane connector is a lot harder than a standard pin and header board to board connector. So SAM Tech is quickly ramping up the support capabilities that our customers are asking for. We are quickly ramping up a backplane application engineering team that's available for support from our factory. We've also produced several pieces of literature to help our customers understand what our portfolio is, as well as get the engineering support that they need on demand. Some of those examples include our XMAX eBrochure, which is downloadable from the SAMTEC website at www.samtech.com. We also have developed an XMAX application specification, which is a 32-page guide which would provide any design engineer all the technical detail they need to design in XMAX in almost any application. That is also downloadable from our website. And Matt, do you have any software tools to help me out here? More and more of our customers are asking for support in simulating their systems when it comes to backplane applications. SAMTEC has the expertise via our signal integrity group to provide any analysis that a customer wants to simulate their system. However, we continue to get more and more requests for a self-guided simulation tool option. So the signal integrity experts, the connector experts, and our web team have developed a tool that SAMTEC calls Channelizer. Channelizer is SAMTEC's online full channel simulation analysis tool. What a user can do is go into the system, enter a project name, pick an application such as Backplane, and then define the entire system by using the Channelizer tool. Channelizer allows a user to simulate an IC, the package, the PCB, the mated connector set, the breakout region for the mated connector set on both sides, and then the corresponding daughter card PCB trace, IC package, and transceiver. Engineers interested in using Channelizer can go to our website at www.samtech.com forward slash Channelizer, and they can test the tool when they're ready to use it. It's really a unique tool that's trailblazing the industry for enabling engineers to simulate their entire system with a backplane connector, as well as the ICs that route signals over the backplane. All right, so how do I know that this actually works in the real world? Do you have some kind of demo you can throw my way? 
Simulations are always great because they're always perfect. However, we know the real world never lives up to the simulations that we may run. So one of the tools that Samtech has made available is an XMAX demonstration platform backplane. It's a 19 inch, 14 slot, 28 plus gigabit per second backplane. This board features both two millimeter and three millimeter XMAX solutions. And it's based on a low loss tachyon PCB material that minimizes insertion loss, return loss, and crosstalk. Real backplanes look great on paper, and even sitting in front of you in, in real life. However, to show the full performance of the XMAX backplane solution that Samtech has developed, we collaborated with Xilinx to put together a demonstration system for DesignCon 2015. In the illustration on the left, you'll see that our XMAX backplane was attached to two Xilinx VCU-108B Vertex Ultrascale evaluation platforms. This setup enabled Samtech and Xilinx to continuously demonstrate 28 gigabit per second signals running from the transceivers on one Xilinx FPGA to the transceivers on another Xilinx FPGA on the second board. What this gave us was roughly a 30 inch channel of running multiple lanes of 28 gigabit per second simulated data over our backplane solution. You can also see in the slide here an eye diagram that was generated from the Xilinx Vivado tool suite showing the clean signals routing through that channel. Xilinx and Samtech received a lot of good feedback on the power of the demonstration to show high-speed signals over a backplane. So we're really excited by the feedback that we got and the performance of the system. Customers interested in learning more about this demonstration can ask their local Samtech representative. Okay, well, I think it's time to wrap things up. Can you give me your main points for me, please, Matt? Amelia, we really appreciate the opportunity to talk with you here at Chalk Talk about the Samtech XMAX backplane portfolio. We hope that your listeners take away that Samtech is now a viable backplane solutions provider, even though we're relatively new in this space. Another point that we hope your listeners take away is that via our license with Amphenol, that this gives Samtech the capability to offer a complete backplane portfolio from 6 gigabit all the way to 112 gigabit per second. And lastly, Samtech provides the products, support, resources, and tools to support any backplane application. Well, I think that's all I have time for today. Thank you so much for joining me, Matthew. Thank you for allowing me to be here. It was a pleasure to talk with you. And before we go, don't forget to click that link. There you can find out more information about Samtech's Examax technology. For Chalk Talks, I'm Amelia Dalton from eejournal.com. For more Chalk Talks, Head on over to the on-demand section of eejournal.com or check out YouTube, keyword eejournal.